I'm interested in AI automation to accomplish certain tasks with the app that I'm building, including app testing and data gathering. And there's been a host of AI applications that have rolled out recently that facilitate this. So I'm curious if any of them can accomplish the thing I'm looking to do for the prototype that I'm building called PodQuest. What I essentially want to do is have the AI autonomously look up the names of podcasts on its own and find episodes from those podcasts, maybe the top episodes, and then transcribe them and potentially even ask questions about them. So what is this podcast about? Imagine that the AI is doing this for me and I'm getting the benefit of gathering data about how the app responds, what responses are good, et cetera. And I can feed that back into a model or an annotation system to figure out what's working, what's not working, et cetera. I would love to be able to do that. I recently recorded a video where I used Adept's AI experiments to try and do this, and it doesn't yet have those capabilities, so it looks very promising. I'm now going to see if I can do it with an app called Bardeen. Okay, so this is the Bardeen extension. It's only available for Chrome, right? I've got it active. It's in my toolbar pinned here. And what I want to see if it can do is grab the top 10 podcasts here and then episodes within that podcast. You want to scrape data on the active tab, start a new template here, multiple items from a list. Let's try that. And we just want the podcast titles. Let's try to do it manually by clicking another element. And let's say no pagination because there's only 10 of them. Now it wants to know the elements that we want to grab. So we'll grab text and the link. And then we actually do want to click into it to see if we can get a list of the episodes. So here we are. And we've got some recent episodes. Click on one of those episodes. And we have the link just in case. And let's see if we can even get the MP3 URL. I don't think that we'll be able to, but well, we might because it has the player. What I want is an attribute of this element, but I, I don't know if it's going to let me do that. Ah, no. Nope. So no dice on the player. That's okay. This will give us a good starting point for things that can be used in PodQuest to be searched for. So let's save this. 10 items, just one page, custom delay. Let's try none. <clears throat> Give it a name. Let's run it. Gone into a page. It's not clear to me whether it has run successfully or not. Let's see. I don't see any output. I'm guessing it didn't work. I've played with this and tried to get it to grab both the podcasts and the podcast episodes in a single step and wasn't able to do so. So what I did is split it into two steps. And presumably, if we could work out this bug, we could wire these two things together to get both the podcast and the podcast episodes if we run our podcast flow here. Looks like it's automating. We've got our data and I told it 10 records. It's added that to the downloads. And sure enough, we've got a spreadsheet of podcasts and their links. Let's check the other workflow. It needs to be in a specific podcast. We'll run that. And there we go. Download it. And it looks like we've got our podcast episodes. Now, it also has included this see all link, which I, I ideally wouldn't want, but I think that's feasible. Main thing we would want to do is try and get these two tables integrated into one. But already, I like that interface. I like that I'm not having to use natural language, actually, that I'm clicking on specific things on the page and chartable is communicating to me that it understood what I was referring to and showing me the data that I would get in real time as compared to Adept, where you're just describing it with natural language and you're not quite sure what it's going to end up with until 
a runnable workflow. But regardless, neither of these does the thing I want to do. So we're going to have to set up our own agent, potentially using an agent AI library. So I will cover that in another video. Thanks for watching.